In this video, I'm going to show you five of my mastering top tips. Okay, so before you even start mastering, the first tip is to make sure you've got enough headroom, typically between minus three and minus six dB. So there I've got about minus 6 dB. You want to make sure you've got enough headroom for any tweaks you might make in the mastering process. Tip 2. Slap an SSL compressor right at the start of your master chain. I usually make sure my makeup gain is on zero. We don't need any extra gain from this. I'm just going to bring the attack down a little bit. And we're just looking for about zero to three db of compression okay so tip three we're going to use mid side eq to clean up the low end in the sides So what we're doing here is just selecting mid side mode, creating a high pass and selecting side and we're just cutting the low ends out of the sides. This will clean up any mud that we might have in the sides and it'll tighten up the low end. Tip four is to add an R base onto your master channel. And this is going to really bring the bass out. You don't want to go too much with this. As you can hear it just really brings the bass out and the final tip i've got for you is to use an imager i'm using ozone 8 imager check on the stereo image ozone 8 has a feature where you can click learn and it'll give you a rough idea of what it thinks each band should be i usually tweak this a bit more i don't want this second band as high maybe about 2k Two point seven. That sounds nice. And the low. Probably right around there, about one forty, one forty-two. So then, all I'm going to do is check the phase, and we want to be aiming really for between zero and plus one. I'm just going to bring the stereo width down on this high band and you can see it's bouncing nicely between 0 and 1 plus 1 is mono 0 is stereo and minus 1 is antiphase you don't want anything going down minus 1 you're just going to do this for each band Check it with all the bands on. See, at times it's dropping below zero. A little bit's not too bad, but we want to bring it up a bit, really. So 
50, we're getting a lot of drop there. And for these lower bands, we're better off just dropping it down quite a lot anyway, as we'd usually have as a low end quite mono. This midsection, we we'll probably have a little bit more stereo information in. I'm just dropping it down so it doesn't really drop below zero. And the low end, we don't want any of this going on, all this, all this stereo information. So what we're going to do is just minus 100 and now our sub bass is completely in the center. So that's my five top tips for mastering. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share. If you haven't already, please subscribe and ring the bell to keep up to date with future updates. See you next time.